Okay, so I'm in the studio and this is Friday and I'm quite excited because I think today I am going to um, count out Tim Berners-Lee's chin. The work we're making is a live portrait of Tim Berners-Lee, one of the founders of the internet. And the portrait is made up um, of live webcams. Tim Berners-Lee is considered to be the, the kind of father of the World Wide Web, so of course that is why it's his portrait that is distributed in this way. So when I'm gridding off, um, I'm counting across, and actually at the moment, the resolution we're working at, he's 118 uh, cameras across. So um, what I'm doing is I'm counting over, and then I'm doing it in simple text, because I think that's probably the way to stay. For everything that's black I put X's and then for everything that's white I put zeros just so we're simplifying it down. Once I've counted them then I have to then add them all up and check that we get to 118 so um, we're keeping him all together. Each pixel will be a camera um, from an opposite side of the world so black and white will be on that opposite sides of the Earth. So as we rotate around the Sun, black over 12 hours will become white, and white over 12 hours will come black. Th these are some concept drawings as we began to develop the idea. So we were just testing here whether these are, this is a still... You can, you can just see that, that it's uh, Mount Fuji just from some lens flare. Uh, and then it's this Salzburg Airport. And we were just trying to combine the two to try and see if the principle itself of drawing with them would actually work. We're just becoming more and more aware that as the internet grows and develops, it's becoming more and more closed. And it started off originally as this wonderful idea and this utopic space where everybody had equal access and could, you know, Coca-Cola's web page would be as equal to my web page about a cat. And, and now things are changing, so there are hierarchies evolving. And I think that the net is becoming more privatised. And in a way, this is looking at what's still available and free online. Yeah. So by using freely available webcams, other people's stuff, um, it, it seems for us to underpin the, the, or perhaps describe the fragility of situation at the moment. So we're just beginning the transcription process. Alison has blocked the um, portrait out of the paper. We've sized it and transcribed it into a set of rules. If you just look here, um, and we need to get it in text form and you can just about see the image there if you look closely um, because once it's in text form we can begin to apply the script and we can just use find and replace uh, to begin um, the tagging process and attaching cameras to uh, the X's and the zeros. Some people will recognise it as Tim Berners-Lee. Some people just go, oh, there's a man made out of webcams and that's, that's also you know, the, the simplest reading that you can have of it. Um, if you do spend time with it and see that the camera's updates, then you'll see that it's live. And then really it's from that point onwards where if people choose to spend the time looking at it, then what it actually represents might begin to kind of open up. And for us, what it represents really is um, because we were asked to consider the notion of net neutrality, uh, we wanted to, to make this work as a kind of memorial to the passing of net neutrality. Or a warning as well, because it does have this kind of feeling of imminence yeah. that, you know, that we're watching. Yes. That when, when he disintegrates, then the internet as we kn knew it has, has disappeared.